I actually uh, forgot to record this part, but I just loaded up Beauty and Sammy. Uh, let me get a better shot here. Hope you can see them. Anyway, I went to get uh, the microphone for my phone to record better sound and then I got sidetracked with other stuff. But yeah, um, they are moving two blocks down. Somebody bought them here in town and um, it was not that difficult to get them loaded but I only tied up Cleo. Did I say Sammy? I mean Beauty and Cleo. <laughs> He's loaded. Uh, I only tied up Cleo because she's a wild one and then Beauty I think will just follow suit. If Cleo sits and stays then Beauty will stay. So Cleo doesn't have a choice and Beauty is staying. I also gave them some uh, food up back there. Beauty is just chowing away and as you can hear Cleo is moaning. Anyway, I'm going to show you now when I offload them. So I'm just going to open first before I cut it, otherwise she'll jump this way. Okay. Alright guys, here we have arrived. Cleo and Beauty. I'm just going to open up for them there. There's a nice big yard for them here. And uh, we must just keep them, keep them this side here, yeah, Beauty. Just check, check that she stays that side and not run this way. Okay. Okay, Cleo. Mind, let me cut here for you. Come, Cleo, come. Come, goats. Come, goats, come. Come. Come, goats, come. So, there they are, checking the fences and already chowing some grass. And it just dawned on me how I messed up. Because, like to me, I don't know if it's a man thing or a farmer thing or whatever, but we've got animals and they, they serve a purpose and they've got names and I've got feelings attached to them, but you know, you sell them and you buy them and stuff like that, not like humans or children. And so now I had this job to do to load up the goats today and go and deliver them. And that was my job. And so I'm getting on to the next thing. The next thing is load the goats and go deliver them. And I want to deliver them as fast as possible so they don't sit on the back of the trailer and stress. So I went out, I hooked up the trailer, I loaded the goats and I delivered them. Now the problem is that was just a job for me and I did it. But I didn't inform the family. Well, I said to Jackie, I'm going to go load the goats. But I'm sure she would have expected me to call everybody once they're loaded to come say goodbye. Now I know Mateo won't be too stressed about it but I know Jackie will be very not stressed but not happy about it so I'm gonna go home now and tell them and see what they say maybe I'm gonna load up the family and drive them back here and show them the goats. So I got home and I told Jackie I stuffed up with the goats and she thought that uh, I offloaded them wrong or something or one of them broke their legs or they got out or something like that and uh, so she wasn't so upset as I thought she would be so she's cool she's all right <laughs> I'm all right I'm still alive <laughs> anyway and the children's not here they went to play so we'll tell them later and I mean the people are just two blocks down the road so I can take the family there another day tomorrow maybe and go and see where they live now. Mikhail is mowing some lawn. Show us how it's done. Oh yeah! One poo. So last night I uh, I kept Haley away from the babies. I put her in the pen um, and then let just babies roam free and then I milked her this morning and she gave like a couple of drops. Of milk so um, I'm definitely gonna have to wean the babies they are very big and strong and healthy and eating very well so it won't affect them at all um, but our production of milk is being affected and since um, we've sold Cleo and Beauty now this morning I milked Haley, as I said and Sammy Sammy's currently there on the milking stand and this is the amount of milk we got um, so yeah just from Sammy and Haley, this is what we got, which is, this is a two liter jar, so that's probably half a liter 
if that, maybe just less than half a liter. So hopefully that production goes up because we consume a whole lot more than that. But I must say it has been um, a lot easier um, without Clio here. And um, with beauty, the only difference that makes is food wise. Okay, so we've also started to sell off some chickens. Um, we've already sold uh, 10, 20, six, 26 and I've got to deliver another 10 odd today. 12, 12 today. And that also makes a big difference on the feed, the amount of feed. So lots of changes on the homestead. And uh, I also want to show you guys a hen that is broody she's sitting on a, a couple of eggs and we hope she hatches them it's always so cool okay so in this bin um, is a porch cuckoo hen that's sitting on her eggs inside of there there was a broken egg on the side when she started that i saw but i saw there's a, a newish broken egg off to the side let me show you what it looks like inside So she's been sitting there for quite a few days. Uh, I've just got food and water for her here. And I actually locked her inside here so that the other hens can't bother her. Um, and we hope that she hatches those babies. It would be very, very cool. Hey, mama hen, you're doing a good job. <laughs>